Welcome to the Flycraft installation video. When you get your package, set the contents out. Now, a couple common mistakes here is the front seat goes up like is shown here, and the middle oarsman seat, make sure that is just as follows. Don't flip that around and have it rising. Inspect each piece, make sure there's no burrs inside the tubing and then locate your gloves and your uh, lubrication. You want to put a thin layer of this lubricant on the uh, connection points, get it on there nice and thoroughly, wipe any excess off, get it inside each of the tubes, kind of put a little bit around the tubes as well. It's not gonna hurt the rope, and that'll make it really nice for this thing to, to slide together. Now it's critical when you're putting these pieces together that they slide in at the same rate and you do not force it. So just go nice and easy, don't force it. If one side goes in faster, pull it back, put them nice and smoothly in at the same rate. Get this front section together, then you can start working on the back section. Once you get these two pieces assembled, you're ready to put the tail in. Now slide these in nice and smooth, take your time, wiggle these pieces. They're gonna have to kind of fold to the inward. You might need a wiggle and shake, but don't force this. They'll go in smoothly if you get the right angles. Pull those pieces inward usually is the, is the trick. Take your time here. Now you're ready to install the bolts. Line up the holes and these bolts should slide right in if you've got the right angle. Fasten these little thumb fasteners on. Now these fasteners towards the anchor side, the rear bolts or fasteners will poke outwards. These, the rest of them will face inwards. So make sure that's right or those will rub. When you get your seats, locate these little screws. They love to get lost. So as soon as you pull your screws, it screws out, find those. Now you kind of take a screwdriver and pry the, the seat uh, swivel open so you can get these screws in. Get all those in and then tighten them. Don't tighten them all down, but just kind of fit them all in and then tighten them. You're now gonna be ready to put the bolts in the seat swivel and uh, install the seat on the frame. So set those in the swivel. Should be able to nicely slide these into the frame. Now this front piece is fully adjustable. You're going to want to make sure the front of the seat lines up with these front two bars. Now this is a critical point for the reverse lean bar. Those two bars there and the front of the seat need to line up nice and straight and that will give you the, the reverse lean bar. Now this is the bow line. What we're going to do here is make a hole with a tree and then the other end is going to be the rabbit. The rabbit is going to come out of the hole, around the tree, and then back in the hole. This is the bow line, great for, uh, it'll hold really nicely, and then it's also really easy to undo it. Now this is a good little method to store your anchor rope, keep it nice and neat when you're traveling. Uh, that way it's not gonna make a mess and get out of the way. This is the reverse pulley. Slide it over the rear anchor rope, and then unlock the carabiner, slide it through the hole, and that should stay there. You're ready to clip your anchor on. Use that two to one system. Now these are the valves. Push in that little valve stem, turn it to the right to lock it, turn it to the left to loosen it. Practice that, you'll get the hang of it. Now here's the little pressure gauge. The tubes go to 0.3 bars, the floor goes to 0.5. Screw the uh, nozzle into the valve and you're ready to inflate this. We got th that little valve cover out of order there, but that's okay. Uh, put the valve cover on after you've inflated it. This is a great little pump, two stage. You can also switch it around and deflate if you really need to package it up tight. You've got four cam straps that are shorter. Those go through the D-rings. You can also get some additional cam straps and strap through the handle if you've got a real big weight, uh, but that's really not necessary. Just if you want to have added uh, straps. Now note the valve here in the back. You always want that valve in the back so it's not getting in the way of the front guy. Put the rack over that little GoPro seat. A lot of the hardware you're not going to use, just those pieces. And then they clip on as such, holding the rack and the frame together. You bolt that together, put the screw on, and then you're re ready to go. The uh, rear D-ring and handle, you're going to put the longer cam strap up and around the frame and the basket. That's going to be your third connection point and that will hold the frame to the boat 
So when you use that handle, it's uh, steady. That is the donut for the cataract oars. Make sure to locate that and install that about three feet down or three inches down from the rope. If you've got the Flycraft oars, they're going to come with the screw connection. You're going to need a screwdriver to put those together, and your donut should already be pre installed on that. Definitely carry a spare oar. Uh, this is how we like to carry them. Uh, this is really critical until you <laughs> lose one. Anyway, okay, so thank you so much. That's the basics. I'm going to ramble on here for a little bit. You're ready for the river. When you're done uh, with your float, you want to deflate the floor and make sure there's no water in there. If there is, drain it out, wipe it clean, and you're ready for your adventures. Thank you so much. Hopefully this was uh, helpful. Call me with any questions, and uh, we'll see you on the river.